Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Herb Kerbler, the next gen four wheel drive piston cup racer number 54 from Cars 3. Now before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Herb Kerbler is a next gen piston cup racer who bears the number 54 for four wheel drive. So basically, this is the car that I kind of forgot to re re review months ago. And I thought I did, but when I browsed through my channel, it turns out that I didn't. So, here he is. So anyhow, during his appearance in Cars 3, he was one of the next gen racers to debuted in 20, to make their Piston Cup debuts in 2016 and have previously replaced the other four-wheel drive racer, Tommy Highbanks. And in 2017, he was one of the racers to participate in the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway. And during his diecast releases, he, was, he has been released as a single in a multi-pack and in a two-pack with Michael Rodor. <clears throat> and now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, here we've got his grumpy facial determined expression. I mean his grumpy determined facial expression. His headlights and dark green exterior paint work, no grill, and we got and on the hood we've got the four wheel next gen four wheel drive logo which says four wheel drive extreme dirt decals and a bit of tire tread marks on and the bit of forest green in background on the hood and on both sides we've got the black rims on the black wall next gen light year tires and the exhaust pipes and the arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up and the yellow number 54 and a few contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy, and the gas cap and the four wheel drive logo. And on top we've got the number 54. And on the spoiler we've got the four wheel drive logo. And on the back we've got the red tail lights and the number 54 and the four wheel drive logo and the orangish yellow rookie stripes indicating that he's a rookie and that is it now let's compare him to the other four-wheel drive racer oh wait before we, I and before I do that let's pull some of the other next gen racers that share his body mold we've got Danny Suarez Conrad Camber, Eric Breaker, Richie Gunzit, Paul Conrev, Barry DePetal, Michael Rodor. Cam Spinner, JP Drive, Steve Slick LePage, and Kurt, also known as Kurt with the Bug Teeth. And some of the other racers that have the number 54, we've got here, we got. APB from Thunder Hollow. And lastly, the other four wheel drive racer, Tommy Highbanks. Now let's compare them to the two four wheel drive racers. Put them up a little, not too close though. A little bit. Back a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. So, here are some. 
similarities and differences. Both bear the number 54 for four wheel drive in the piston cup. And both bear the number 54. And both, and their sponsor color is green, ye blue, and yellow. But here are some differences. Tommy Highbanks, stock car, Herb Kerbler, next gen. Both have the four wheel drive logo on the hood, number 54 on the top, no name signature. Four wheel drive on the trunk, four wheel drive on the spoiler. Both have the black wall rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up. The four wheel drive on both sides and the gas caps. Contingency sponsor logo saying Piston Cup, Violin, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octagon, and Clutch Aid. Few contingency spot less contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. And both have the working headlights, grill, no grill, happy expression, grumpy expression. Veteran, rookie, rookie stripes, no rookie stripes, working taillights, yellow spoiler, black spoiler, number 54 underneath the taillights, 54 on the back bumper, slogan saying dirt decals, no slogan saying dirt decals, and that is it. Now, the only four-wheel drive racer that I don't have is Johnny Blammer, who shares the same body mold as Winford, Bradford, Rutherford. And he is, and he is also one of the rare cars to come by. And I hope he gets re-released in the future by Mattel. Or, let's just hope that Mattel will re-release Johnny Blammer as a single again. But what do you guys think? Which next-gen racer is your favorite? Which racer number 54 is your favorite? And which four-wheel driver is your f racer is your favorite? And which... I mean, do you hope... And do you hope for Mattel to re-release Johnny Blammer again? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!